underway inside the MOA Arena. Chris Ellis comes up with a steal. It's an opening drive na itong tropa. Ellis will first wait for his point guard in LA Tenorio. Kasama nila sila Mamaril, Lowhorn, and Kagiwa. Lowhorn opens up the scoring. He's got 23 big points. For Ginebra, you're hoping for a good start here. And also, a, actually, a better start on the defensive end because they're giving up too high a field goal percentage to talk and text. Etong TNT has the young si Pels na nangangun one-hander. Nandiyan din si Anthony Castro, peak and Fonacher. And you mentioned it na kanina that the starters of Ginebra actually got it done for them. Lumamang sila ng hanggang 8 points. It was the second unit. So, grabe yung kailangan ibuhus ngayon itong starters dahil uh, baka maulit na naman yung uh, kakulangan ng performance sa second unit. Remember that Mark Aguila actually started in today's game. So, this is a team that is actually already losing Japheth and Aguilar. So, nabawasan yung depth ng Ginebra. Bells never gave up. Blocking that Ellis layup. Castro, his pass, not a pick, but Anthony still recovers. But talking text will turn it over. Sa buntong ito, makibalita tayo. Ano ba nangyari at the half with Ms. Sal Guevara? Ginebra is being pushed to, to the limit. Kaya kanina sa dugout, there was not a bit of frustration coming from Ato Agustin when he was explaining the game plan. But he just wanted to stress out that the individual defense of Talk and Text ay kailangan nilang i-match up. As for Coach Norman Black of Talk and Text, he thinks that the guys did a great job. They're playing as a team, which is a far cry from how they started this time. Thank you, Sal. Double-digit lead na to para dito sa Talk and Text 66-56. So yung strong start, talking text pa, nakakuha dito siya. And again, they're able to maximize the thickness that they have. Denario with the leather. Mamarillo will offer the pick. Three to shoot. Lowhorn's got to go. Trying to beat the shot clock. Dior couldn't bail him out, but Ellis keeps it alive. Kagiwa to Tenorio. LA in traffic, trying to carve out some space. Tenorio could not deliver. The blur all the way to the other end. Bitin yung layup. Anthony, though, keeps it on that side of the floor. Peek in the lane. Gets the basket. Make a sama pang foul. See a bit of frustration right now in the eyes of Barangay Hineba because the offense of Talk and Lex continue to come in waves. Even when they're missing the first shot, they're getting offensive rebounds and they're getting so many shots close to the ring. Alapag back on the floor para sa TNT as Ali P completes that three-point play. A very early timeout para dito sa barangay. Sign up now. Patuloy ang gera dito sa MOA Arena. Mamaril has that letter slapped away by Anthony. Sakit yan para sa Inebra coming off their own timeout. Anthony receives from Alapag, cradles that leather. Anthony misses though everything but the shots of Agagadonio. Denorio trying to get things going para dito sa barangay, down by 13 points. LA, no, looks into Kagiwa, the reverse is good, and got 17. Basket, that talagang kailangan na kailangan ng barangay Ginebra because there's no start here in the third quarter. Fels against Ellis. Chris Ellis actually did a decent job on Fels in that first quarter. But it makes him look to me he to Fels in the second frame. Ellis. Hand off Pabalike Tenorio. LA will try and set this one up. Pick and roll with Mamaril. They go to the other side. Ellis underneath. Kagiwa goes up. Wala. Kagiwa pa rin. We'll lose the leather to the baseline. Ochato looking for more firepower sa pagbabalik ni Mac Baracael. Pinalitan muna niya. Itong si Ellis. Ponashev to a series of picks. Foul will be whistled on Anthony. Kinapitan daw. Itong si Baracael. Now, Rani Del Deocampo is back on the floor. Pinalitan si Anthony. Zinebra is still down by 11 points. 
Wala pang major run tayo nakikita mula sa Barangay Nebra. Yeah, that's right. After that first quarter, they actually had a decent run in that first, but ever since then, they've actually been stymied by Topic Tech. Every time they get the string together, two or three baskets, nakakasagot agad itong tropa. Alapag. Couldn't pull the trigger. Tenorio keeping in step with him. Big pick from Ali. Rebound, LA running start. Haplo Alaban. LA puts it up after the contact. Oh, that's a terrible call. That should have been a should have been continuation. LA immediately throwing it up. Actually, actually he expected the contact. He didn't throw it up after you. Look at here's the foul. Once he crosses over, here's the foul right there. One mile, one motion. That is a sideline inbound. LA will miss from three. Ball goes to Jason Webb. Wait, sali ka ba? Hindi ako sali. Wala po may assist pa sa'yo. Baseline inbound para sa Inebra. Tenorio, hinahanap si Kagiwa. Kagiwa will miss though, pero he hustles to get that leather right back. LA puts it on the floor. Down the gut of the defense. Will have to earn his points from the line. LA Tenorio, six points, nine assists na across his number. And so far, and six rebounds. When I look at when I look at Mark, when I look at LA as well as DR Lohorn, and the amount of effort that they have to put, the next question is. Where is the next guy? Who's the next guy na aambag on the offensive end or the energy? Because they're not going to be able to do it just the three of them. Galing si Sel dun sa Hinebra. Baka meron siyang balita kung saan sila kukuha. You know what Coach Eto Augustin kept on kept talking his guys to do tough round to go, tough round defense. At pati po si Eli Tenorio nakipep talk na rin. Sabi guys, okay lang na hindi maging masyadong okay sa offensive. Basta huwag kalilimutan ang defense. Balik sa inyo. Diba, may, may old saying ng mga coaches, your defense should never have an off night. Yeah, because at the moment, you look at Talk and Tech, they already are close to 70 points. They're at 69. Wala pa tayong halfway point ng third quarter. That's too much to give out. LA for three. No go. Peak para sa rebound. Alapag, nagpamadali. Asa kanyang kanan si Pell. Back to Jimmy. Nakita si Peak. Ali, puts it up and in. That talk in text front line coming up with a devastating place inside the Moa Arena. Again, Barangay Hinebra, mismatches or actually not talking on defense. And then, ginawa lang ng talk in text and hinanap yung na libre because nagahabul na yung Barangay Hinebra because they didn't match up properly. Ang mabigat pa doon, Jason. Ang pinakamabigat doon, panglimang personal follow na ako ni Peak dito kay Mamaril. Ali Peak is 7 for 7 from the field. Lowhorn trying to carve some space contra dito kay Ali. And si Napo Chato, iiwan na si Mamaril dito. Kanina pa siya napipwersang hukubo sa bench na maaga because of foul trouble. Dito ay susugal na kahit lima foul niya. Tenorio on the move. Takes the contact. Niluwa pa ng ring yun. And LA can't believe it. Tumitingin na lang siya sa kalangitan. You know, because the la yung mga last shots niya, uh, the, when, when she got fouled, they were close. Hindi lang pumasok. Plus, remember, he did miss his last two free throws. LA trying to make up for those two misses. They find themselves still down by 13 points. Tenorio takes care of the first as Pericles checks back in. Coach Norman Black making sure he always has fresh legs on that front line. Ganda nung balasa niya with his bigs. One guy though that we haven't seen, Raba Al-Husseini. Mamahuo na pa si Jimbo Aquino sa kanyang pumasok dito in the next dead ball situation. Raba on that drop of bench. They go to the corner with Ryan Reyes. Reyes bounces it to Ferriols. The fadeaway is good. Seems like every big has shot so well para dito sa talk and deck. Ferriols now with a total of six points. They go up. Tenorio with his tenth assist of the game. 
he's gonna be close to another triple double by by or unless of course he reaches it. It's like ayon malapit nasa triple double. Reyes miss. Mayo Harper rebound. Denorio fouled by Reyes on the region. Giving a chance for Jimbo Amino to come back in. Mayo Harper pumasuk na kapala. Pinalitan na si Mamarin. Ginebra down by a dozen. They go to Tenorio. Kagiwa setting up para dito kay Lohorn. Dior contra Perioz. The power step is going to be given a foul. Perioz with a moving pick. Borado si Tenorio sa pagkakataong yun. As I did mention earlier, Maguda Baragay Ginebra has not had a long run. This is actually their chance to have a run here. Para malaman natin, binanggit mo si Alo sa inyo, hindi pa ginagamit dito. Ano ba ang balita kay Raba? Alam mo, Magu, etong absence ni Magu, ay ni Raba, huh? sorry, oh nga, nandiyan ka pala. Yung absence ni Raba Luceni in this game and in the last game seems to be... Whoa! Balik tayo kay Raba Luceni, yung absence nga niya is... Seems to be a disciplinary action on Rabal Luceni. So it looks like he has to learn his lesson. And you know what? He really admits that Coach Norman Black has been very tough on him. There you go. So, tie what muna. So, yun nga po, ayun sa palita ni Sel Guevara, eh, natong house si Rabal Luceni para sa Tropa. As Courtney Bells gets the three-pointer from Kagiwa right back, pushing this Tropa lead back up to 10 points. Before that, it was actually a 7-0 run para dito sa Barangay Ginebra, but you can see Docket Tech making some changes. They're actually gone even bigger now with Jimmy Alapag, the only guy below 6-2. All of the other guys, about 6-4, 6-5. Look at Barangay L! And this huge stride. Antis nga lang as he overshot the layup. Ranidel on that right baseline. Carry sa ilalim. Inatake si Kagiwa. Boot! Atake na boot! Si Lohorn. Alapag for three. No good. And Ferios keeps it alive. Ito yung big line up, Jason. Jimmy once again. No good. And another serving para dito sa tropa. It's gonna be difficult para sa Barangay Ginebra because right now, there's so many guys, so many mismatches that actually are on their way. Tapos, hindi pa nakaset up properly ang Ginebra. You can see, guys are actually not on the right personnel. Bells misses. Tagiwa finally clears it para sa Ginebra. The reigning MVP setting this one up. They go to Lowhorn at the post. Perioz in front of him. Tutulong si Dio Campo. Tio still gets the two points. As a punto ito, in terms of scoring, in terms of getting his points, wala ka nang hihingin dito kay Dior Lohorn. He's already at 29, chance for 30 right now. But let's see, on the defensive end, let's see what Hinebra does. There's no way they can match up man-to-man sa talk and text because of their size. Let's see if they're actually going to try to zone here because there's not enough shooters on the floor para sa talk and text. Fels against Barakel on that right side. Fels step back jumper. No. Rebound battle na kanino. Pupulutin ni Barakel. Tenorio will push the action para sa Inebra. LA shovels it to Mac. LA will reset. Pinapaalis niya. Itong si Lorne. Eh, Mingi na pick dito kay Dior. LA waiting for the cut. Kagiwa for three. No good. Meyerhofer using his length against Del Campo. Barakel all the way to the hole! Pag huwag yung sinasabi natin, the other guys have to contribute. Offensive rebound para kay Rico Meyerhofer and then a layup para kay Mac Barakel. Pasa ni Alapag, ginakaw ni Tenorio. Here come the red shirts. Tenorio to Kagiwa, nabitawan lang yung bola. And Alapag will push it the other way. Deo Campo on the move. Attacking Meyerhofer, natapikan ang bola, it's a 3-on-1! Tenorio to Meyerhofer, Kagiwa gets the two points! Ang laki ng tropa, anong ginawa ng Ginebra, tinakbuan sila. Timeout muna para kina Coach Norman Black. Take a look at the last couple of sequences, Jason. Ito yung binabanggit mo, Meyerhofer getting that board. Para sa Guerra Samoa Arena, eh nahanap na po natin ang ating 
mga ulalam mahal ng masa fans of the day saan ba sila nakaupo hinahanap pa rin natin sa puntong ito ayan na po ah, mula sa masarap malaman mura at convenient kasi easy to open ulalam ready to eat ulam para sa masa mahal ng masa ulalam 15 pesos lang 2 minutes remaining in this third quarter Jason Barangay Hinebra after being down by as much as 14 points has torn back tatlo na lang ang inaabol nila dito 270 run 170 run uh, before that timeout of coach Norman then another set then they get the three pointer from Token Text for, for Fels and then another 70 run para sa Barangay Hinebra so finally Hinebra getting the runs that, that they need Fels on the move Fels with a one-hander, no, and Norio with a rebound. But you know, still, Talking Tech staying with that big lineup. Problem with that big lineup, not enough creators. Back for the tie. Meyerhofer with yet another board. Ay, sinasabi natin, Rico has to help out, at least in rebounding. Sohorn broke it up, take it away, but there's a foul. Ali P whistled for this one. Hindi rin narinig ni Dior na may pumito na sa ingay ng Ginebra Faithful as they can come to within one after these two free throws. The call for going up over the back is Ali Peak. More importantly, pag-apat na yan na, na foul ni Ali and he's actually the best matchup para kay Dior Lohorn. First miss from the line mula dito kay Lohorn. 8 of 9 so far. Now, warning ang padito si Ali Peak for resenting to his fourth personal foul called on him. Lohorn <laughs> splits, that brings in Ebra to within two. How will Talking Text respond? Castro on that left side against Tenorio kicks it over, Anthony for three. No. Rebound battle. Carey had a hand on it, but it ends up with Lohorn. Tangiwa sa kanilang dulo. Nice fake to get Fels up in the air. But right now, the size of Falcon Tech is not working. Because after that sequence, it's marami sila na kuwang offensive rebound. Ginebra with gang rebounding, getting on the fast break, and taking advantage of the quickness that their small unit has. Harvey Carey salvaging what would have been a potential three-point play. Pero nagmintis pa si Kagiwa sa kanyang unang free throw. Talking text going back to a more conventional lineup. Barangay Hinebra at the moment, Magu, that is a 9-0 run. That brings them to within one. Last deadlock we had was at 38 all. Way back in the first half. Fels, contra dito kay Barakel, they go to Punisher, taking Kagiwa out the dribble, low horn, as he whistles for the goal He couldn't believe it, but the two points is credited to Larry. Meyerhofer gets it over to Kagiwa, low horn, battling peak for position. Barakel couldn't pull the trigger. Eight seconds, a shot clock ng Inebra. Gagiwa looking for Barakel, taken away by Castro. Fells off and running. L.A. Tenorio right there to bother him. So it's a safety play on the part of L.A. Tenorio. Yes, you're a lot smaller than Courtney Fells, but just using his quickness to disrupt that fast break. Periol, si binalik ni Coach Norman para dito sa may foul trouble na Ali Peak. Fels leans in. Tenorio with another emphatic rebound here. LA lost his dribble. Now he resets. Carrying on in front of him. Parangael pulls the trigger. And Matt Parangael has become that fourth guy, at least in terms of scoring, para sa Inebra sa quarter na to. That's five points for him. Rico Meyer offer on the other hand. He said the money would be the guy from energy. One of three fouls to give. And you expect what he never at this point to rest guys like Ele Tenorio, Dior Lohorn, and maybe even Mark Kagila because those three guys have put in so much effort 
in this in the last third, in this third quarter. And with 7.5 seconds remaining, pagkatapos ng foul ni Tenorio, may dalawa pa silang pwede pamigay. Pero si Mama Rin, pinalik dito with five personal fouls. Uh, probably basically, if talking text goes to Perios, can't give up that foul. That's not a good foul in the point of corrupt. Uh, a little bit longer. 6.7 to go. One more foul to give. Castro. Oh, finding a way. Kaya naman pala nakagawa ng para at sumobra ng hakbang. So Barangay Hinebrapa will have the last say of the third trying to take back the lead. First up pa, nung huli nilang natikman yan, Labagala puts it off. No go. So at the end of three quarters, Papla ang ating labanan, 79 to 79. Iba